This morning, my sister and I had the same hairstyle idea. <laughs> this gave us a funny idea. Why not do a sister's braid challenge? <laughs> Here we go. My sister had the good idea of using necklaces for a challenge. We put them on before braiding our hair, of course. Okay, let's make three wicks. Now let's braid them together. Wow, the mixture of the two colors is beautiful. That's it. Now we are really inseparable. <laughs> let's go outside for the first challenge. Okay, the first challenge, we must exchange our necklaces. One, two, three, go! We pass this one here, and the other one from below. No, not like this. We're getting all tangled up. <laughs> Stop! Okay, let's calm down and do it gently. Like this. And finally, like that. <laughs> we succeeded. Ta-da! Bravo! Okay, let's see what awaits us over there. Our friend has prepared a challenge that may complicate things a little. No, you're not serious? A jump rope? <laughs> okay, I'm sure we can do it. And one, two, three, four, five. Oops! <laughs> Again? We are real champions. Okay, so for the last challenge, our friend has prepared a rather fun game with letters. I had to find letters to form the word dog, and my sister the word cat. One, two, three, go! Super! I have G. Come here! Wow, not true. Already finished? <laughs> well, I have all my letters too. Hey, your A is upside down. <laughs> and hop. <laughs> so which challenge did you prefer? Let us know in the comments. Bye bye. Oops, it's on the other side. <laughs> See you soon. A last minute dinner with your friends? You are probably in a hurry, but you also want to look your best. So today we present you with our simple but effective beauty tips. Oh no, it looks like something is bothering my sister. She has a last minute dinner appointment and she has to leave in less than an hour. That's great, but oof, she obviously wasn't expecting it at all. It leaves us with very little time to get ready and no time to go to the hairdresser. Fortunately, I have a great little tip that can work very well for now. First, you need a hat with a straight border, such as a chef's hat. Simply position the border at the desired height. It's a good idea to put a container under to catch the falling hair. Then you need good sharp scissors. It doesn't matter if they are not designed to cut hair. All you have to do is to simply cut your bangs by following the edge of the hat. And that's it. Okay, okay. It may not be perfect, but since she no longer has hair in her eyes, she will at least get to see her friends and enjoy her dinner. It's time to put on some makeup, starting with the foundation. Let's see. I hope I can find what I need in my makeup bag. Hmm. Yes, here it is, only missing a brush to apply it on smoothly. Let's go. Oh no, this shade is much too dark. It does not work at all. Darn. Oh, I think I know how to fix my problem. I could use a day moisturizer to lighten it up. Let's put a good quantity in a small bowl. 
Then we add a small quantity of the foundation that is too dark. All we have to do is mix it up and make sure there are no lumps left and we're done. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yes, it is much better now. If however your foundation is too light to begin with, you can simply warm it up with a bronzer. Another tip to avoid a mask effect is to stretch the foundation to the middle of the neck. Wow, super! It's really perfect. Let's move on to eyelashes now. It is a must if you want eyes that attract attention. Hmm. Where did I put my mascara? Ha! Here it is! Oops, it looks like it's getting a little old and dry. Don't panic, I have an idea to bring it back to life. All it takes is contact lens fluid. Simply pour a few drops into the mascara tube. Close the cap and shake it for a few seconds to mix well. And that's it. We just extended the life of the mascara for a few more days at least. While applying mascara, make a zigzag motion from root to tip. That way, you will avoid the formation of lumps and optimize the volume and length of your eyelashes. Nothing better to have perfect eyes. Wow, what a look! Also, it's good to know that if your eyeliner starts to dry too, you can also add a few drops of contact lens fluid to bring it back to life. Okay, all we have left to do to complete this superb look are the lips. Let's see. Oh no, it's not true. I think I don't even have a single tube left. Wow, we have no luck today. But luckily, I have a few more tricks up my sleeve. Using your eyeshadow palette and olive oil. Before running to the store, did you know you can create your own tinted lip balms? First, choose the color that you like. For me, it will be red. Scrape it over a small bowl to obtain a fine pigmented powder. Then add a few drops of olive oil and mix well to get a beautifully creamy balm. That's it, all you have to do is to apply it with a lip brush. And here's the result. Magnificent. Hmm, I should test that with a nice purple. What do you think? Note that if you don't have olive oil, you can also use another type of oil provided it is edible. Okay, let's see what purple looks like. Oh wow, what a beautiful color. One, two, three, and there it is. The result is breathtaking. Wow, we made it just on time because it's time for my little sister to leave. But one last thing before she leaves. Why not go for beautiful wavy hair? I'm exhausted. I think I'll go take a nap. But I have to remove my makeup first. Hmm, where is my makeup remover? Yes, of course, all I have to do is use olive oil. Yes, you heard right. I think we can say mission accomplished. Have a good evening and have fun. So, we take a cleansing pad that is soaked with oil and voila! Castor oil, grapeseed oil, or coconut oil will work equally well and will leave your skin incredibly soft and revitalized. Did you like our beauty tips? Let us know your favorite one in the comments below and give us some of your own tips. We are curious. Thanks for watching and see you soon!